BDO Solutions welcomes you to our video series on Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2013. In today's video, we will be discussing the Role Center in Nav 2013. Navigating the user interface is straightforward. Simply click on an icon to access it. Options available include entering or updating data, using filters, and accessing other relevant transactions. The Role Center is the central point for all information and actions performed in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. It provides a quick overview of tasks and transactions related to your job role. Microsoft Outlook is integrated with the interface, allowing flexibility to work with both Nav and Outlook at the same time. We will walk through the GUI in this video to show several buttons, links, and menus in the Role Center that allow you to navigate within Microsoft Dynamics Nav. The Actions tab is located in the menu bar at the top of your screen. It provides access to the transactions seen in the Role Center, Tasks, and History. The Reports tab provides access to various reports. The address bar at the top of your screen shows the path to the current action. You can also navigate within Microsoft Dynamics Nav by clicking on the name or arrow buttons and making your selection. The Microsoft Dynamics Nav button allows you to click and set your work date, your language, select your server, select your company, customize the ribbon, the current page, the navigation pane, reset your user specific settings, and also access Microsoft Dynamics Nav Help. The backward and forward buttons allow you to navigate to pages that you have already visited. These buttons behave in the same way as the backward and forward buttons in Internet Explorer. On the top right of your screen, the Role Center can be set up to display the company name for the company that you are currently logged into with color highlighting. The color can be changed if you have multiple entities so it is clear which entity you are logged into. The Refresh button allows you to refresh the information in your Role Center. The search window allows you to find a screen without having to navigate through the menu structure. The Help button provides access to Microsoft Dynamics Nav Help and the license information. The Activities part contains stacks of documents called queues. Select a queue to open corresponding lists or journals. Queues show the default activities that a person can perform based on their job role. Queues show the number of documents that you have in the stack. Click on a queue to access that stack. The Outlook part gives you an overview of your emails, calendar, and Outlook tasks. You can click on an item to open a corresponding folder, email, or appointment in Outlook. Your Role Center may contain one or more lists of customers, vendors, or items. You can decide which customers, vendors, or items to include in your list. By selecting a line and clicking on it, you can open the associated card, in this case the customer card. The list can be updated by clicking on the Manage List button. In the My Notifications part, you can see notes that your colleagues have sent to you. You can click on a note and open the document the message is related to. The Home button provides access to the icons in the Activities part by clicking on the button on the left side of the pane. Click on the Departments button to access parts of the application that are not included in your personalized menus. Every user is assigned a job-related profile by their administrator. Your profile provides you with a role center and one or more menus that provide access to the tasks, lists, reports, and documents that you need most often. In addition, all users have access to the Departments menu. From the Departments menu, you can navigate to everything in the application that you have access to, including setup and configuration. Use the Microsoft Dynamics Navigation pane to open list places. From a list place, you can open individual cards or documents. The Microsoft Dynamics Navigation pane displays one menu at a time. At a minimum, the navigation 
pane includes a Home button and a Departments button. Depending on your user profile, various activity buttons may be available. You can rearrange the order of the items in the menu, add or remove menu items, and create a new menu. The Posted Documents button is an example of a list button. It shows a list of posted documents. Use the Navigation button to view a summary of the number and type of entries with the same document number or posting date. You can also use this feature to find the documents and entries where certain lot and serial numbers were used. This feature is useful when you need to find the ledger entries that resulted from certain transactions. When searching by document numbers, you can print out the summary from the document's entry report. The status bar is located at the bottom of the user interface. By clicking on the company button, you can select a different company to log into. Also displayed in the status bar is the current system date and the current logged in user. This ends our video for today. BDO Solutions thanks you for joining us and please check out our website at www.bdosolutions.ca.